Hello everyone. It is commonly said that the risk of investing too late in smart machines is probably greater than the risk of investing too soon. Today we are moving from automation to autonomous and without AI or artificial intelligence elements in your business pitch, competing in the marketplace will be increasingly difficult. I have some interesting figures here with me. The size of global artificial intelligence or AI in healthcare was valued at USD 2.5 billion in 2018 and is further expected to grow at a CAGR of 41.5% up to 2025. In particular, since 2015, VC investment in AI for healthcare had soared these deals reached almost $1.3 billion across 103 deals in 2017. Investments continued to increase by 2018 with $320 million invested across 18 deals, well on pace to at least match 2017's total. Let me remind you, when it comes to health care, one of the prime factors inducing the market growth and attracting the funding for AI is the inefficiencies and high costs associated with healthcare in most regions of the world. Obviously, there are several other factors too that are fueling investors' interest into AI that I would be discussing in this video. But primarily, I will try to put VC's mind at rest by addressing one of their most frequently asked questions. Would these companies actually build solutions that the market is looking for and pushing AI forward or are they simply AI washing their otherwise unintelligent offerings? The answer is hidden in understanding this. What is triggering this growth of AI in healthcare? And what are the challenges hindering AI's adaptability in healthcare? But before I start this video, please hit the like button, turn on that little notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, YouTube can notify you and subscribe to my channel to help me grow and educate more people on disruptive technologies, AI and blockchains, and their trends and analysis. Let's forget about any technology for now, and let's pretend that we are in 1920s. When it comes to healthcare, there is clearly increasing demand for lowering healthcare costs, growing importance of data collected from the patient's health records and adoption of precision medicine. The question arises, what should we do? Now let's get back to the century because seemingly technology is the only answer. Also, if we are laser focused on the demands I just mentioned, the most interesting themes that emerge are data and automation. But don't think that AI is something new. It isn't. Yes, it's disruptive in nature, but not new. In fact, FDA approved algorithms have been used since 1998 to detect cancers in medical images. The difference today is that new technologies are making such efforts much more easier and simpler. As an example, availability of cloud and the fast digitalization of information certainly improves data accessibility and the speed of computation. So right before their eyes, what investors are seeing is the concept of AI or artificial intelligence becoming mainstream, hands investing accordingly. You must be thinking what exactly is driving this growth. For starters, increasing applicability of AI-based tools within healthcare is surging the demand for this technology. As an example, again, AI technology is already used in healthcare to monitor changes in behavior patterns and activity for early detection of health issues. Other factors driving this growth are rising healthcare costs, obviously, aging population, 
stifling regulations and the complexity of present day technological offerings. These growth inducing factors are certainly making the trillion dollar healthcare industry ripe and ready for disruption. And anything else fueling the demands? Certainly, it's the global pandemic that is leading to explosive growth. But the fact is, true to any innovation, let alone disruptive technology, VCs or investors are still not sure or skeptic, or if I dare to say scared, into investing into AI. The reason being, and I'll be very blunt, I feel that many investors or VCs don't fully understand AI for obvious reasons. They are investors and not the tech geeks. They may not know where to invest and may not be fully prepared to take advantage of this emerging trend, which means that self-learning for investors could be a starting step. Let's explore a bit more how AI is helping healthcare. If you could visualize AI next to data in your mind, the whole picture gets super simple. Data in healthcare, or in fact in any industry, is gold. Remember, AI loves data, therefore an immense amount of individual health data is essential to develop reliable AI tools for health. And given the world of information and technology we live in, data isn't a problem at all. In fact, many, many organizations, including healthcare providers, just don't know what to do with the data. This is exactly where AI steps in. Just imagine if the medicine is capable of learning with incoming health data and, and as a result find patterns, hands make decisions with minimal human direction. Now computing power can detect and analyze large and small trends from the data and even make predictions through machine learning that's designed to identify potential health outcomes. But obviously, there are some challenges that are certainly hindering the adaptability of AI into healthcare. From the perspective of healthcare industrial partners that are more of interest to VCs, the real challenge they face is access to health data for the purpose of training machine learning algorithms. Indeed, those in industry need health data, and this is the main difficulty for them. Above all, however, when it comes to supervised AI or machine learning techniques, they need data labeled by physicians or doctors to obtain results that are as precise as possible, for example, diagnosis or proposed treatments, medication, etc. Another problem that is certainly the most brought up is the sense of excessive regulation concerning health data used by private companies. Nevertheless, at the same time, there's also an impression of existence of a legal loophole and a lack of clarity of the legal documents. In my opinion, it should be considered by the current legislations to be capable of addressing the new issues that arise with AI, hence triggering a bill to legislate in the hope of devising a better framework for AI globally. Paradoxically, another challenge concerning who to be held accountable in case any injury happens. When it comes to AI providers, AI tools are only meant to help doctors with their decisions, not to replace them. Therefore, legislations should therefore remain unchanged in their view. In addition, AI developers or providers are quite clear about their not being ready to be held responsible for their AI tools if such a tool induced harm to a patient because of an unpredictable evolution of the tool due to a black box phenomena. Having said that, even if developers or providers of AI are held partially responsible in case of injury, the development of health AI tools would be hugely hindered. Looking at the micro level, there are many concerns to be addressed by the legislative frameworks before AI adaptability is expected to be adopted mainstream. So what do we conclude? AI tools are reaching the field of healthcare regardless of whatever we want to believe. 
to stay skeptical about it. It is a reality that we must face to facilitate their arrival. While a certain level of hyperbole seems to have taken over the discussion of AI and healthcare, there is a diverse considerations and knowledge emerging among each category of stakeholder, such as doctors, healthcare providers, regulators, researchers, developers, etc. On the one hand, healthcare industrials and researchers highlight the need for high quality health data. On the other hand, physicians or doctors are still waiting for evidence of the usefulness of these tools and wonder if they will be held responsible in case of an injury due to an AI tool that they do not fully understand. This takes us back to the role of members of regulatory agencies who remain in limelight to be able to play their role as regulators, both in the development of the AI tools and in the race towards health data. VCs are investors who are or intend to enter this game. With that conflict of interest, wonder how collective and individual interests will be balanced in context with the development of AI for the benefit of patients and profit making. Apparently, with time in near future, these ambiguities will be resolved as it's need of the hour and not a matter of choice anymore. Again, remember the data is the new king. It needs to be managed and there's no better tool than AI to do so. What further feeds my research is that same companies who were adding big data in their pitch two years ago now are using AI in their pitch when they try to raise money. Obviously, if we are building a tech company such as Monet ORB, operating in global healthcare sector and finding ways to raise funds, many VCs will doubt or could have more second thoughts on the scalability of our business over time. Nevertheless, AI is not a must-have element yet for all startups, but for scalability, it can create a unique long-term competitive advantage and VCs are aware of this. Last but not least, I believe investors will learn fast as they have done in the past, but the current acceleration of AI investments and the media hype around this topic are already generating fake myths that increase the level of noise. If you like my content, please help me grow by subscribing to our channel. Also, don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.